Hello Wiz Kids and welcome to this week's edition of The Super Smoothie Show. Welcome to this week's edition of the Super Smoothie Show, the show where we take things you're not supposed to blend and put them in the blender. So this week um, we've run out of smoothie suggestions, so uh, I'm going to do a slight twist and we're going to go through health and safety when using the blender, which is obviously very important. Look at me now, this is how I'm currently dressed for a uh, blender operation. Um, this is completely unsafe, never dress like this to use the blender. This is what you should look like to use the blender. This is what you should look like to use the blender. Um, I've got full on overalls and a few other things. We're going to go through in this video uh, each one of these PPE and why you need it to safely operate uh, the blender. So first of all, why should you use PPE, personal protective equipment, when using the blender? Um, well first of all, if we just look in here, let's have a quick zoom in. Um, you'll see that there is a blade, okay? Now, never do this. Never put your hand in the blender. The only reason I'm doing that is because it is unplugged, okay? Now, obviously, because it's got a blade and it spins very quickly, um, if food was to come splitting out, and fly in your face and destroy uh, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your entire chest blows up, your ears come off, um, that could be quite dangerous, obviously. And it is quite likely, um, obviously, with, with a blender like this. Um, with, a, with a blade that we have. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go through each bit of PPE. Now you'll see from other episodes of the Super Smoothie Show uh, we have used eye protection such as this to stop me from having uh, bits of chicken and stuff splitting out into my eyes and potentially uh, causing some really serious damage. So um, obviously put them on such as that. Obviously make sure they're on correctly and so they fit. Um, for double protection we're going to use two. Uh, one for one eye and uh, one for uh, one for the other. That way you're double protected, okay? Um, then, uh, obviously, we've got the virus at the moment. Um, whenever blending within two metres of another human, um, you want to probably have a face mask. So here we've got a Adidas snood. Um, hang on, let me take off the, some, of the, um, some of the eye protection. There we go. Um, face mask on. Back on with the, uh, oh, that's, there we are. Back on with some of the, some of the glasses, there we go. Um, we'll keep that down there for now. Um, obviously the blender is quite loud, um, so you do want to have some ear protection. So here we've got some proper industrial grade uh, earmuffs again, uh, just make sure they're on um, in such a way that it's, uh, you know, covers both ears appropriately, something like that. That's, uh, there we are, there we are, that's, that's a good fit. Um, so now we've got our ears protected, our eyes protected, and all our respiratory system protected. Um, obviously, bits of chicken, potentially harder things like biscuits, um, could go shooting out of the blender and come and land on your head and knock you out. Um, people have died using the blender because things have gone whoosh and, and hit them on the head, or, or I'm guessing they have anyway, because obviously it is quite dangerous. Um, so what we're going to do is, um, I couldn't find a hard hat, I know we do have one, um, but I did find a bucket, so I presume that's, um, there we are, now I'm, now I'm protected fully, uh, my head's, head's protected from the blender. Overalls, really important, um, again, what if we have something sharp come out of the blender, like the blade comes off, and it slices my chest, um, obviously that would be, that would be a shame. Um, so here we've got some uh, flame proof um, high vis jacket, uh, overalls, um, it's probably cut resistant and um, it's really important that it is flame proof and um, it's very light, I mean the, the, the blender probably will catch fire when you use it. Um, every episode so far, as soon as I've turned off the camera, whoosh, flames, um, I've set fire to the table a few times using the blender, it's really important that you have a, a, a flame proof version of this. Um, obviously it's no good unzipped, so let's just, let's do that up there like that. And uh, 
now I'm ready for blender operation. So, um, let's put the helmet on. And uh, what we'll do, oh yeah, of course we've got a bit of a strap here. Um, obviously, just put the uh, mask up just in case anybody uh, happens to be within two meters while I'm blending. Let's plug it in. No, let's not plug it in because uh, I haven't put the stuff in the blender yet. What should we blend? Uh, let's blend some grapes. So I have some some grapes in the lid there. Let's um, let's pour them in there like that, and on with the lid. Um, and let's plug this bad boy in. So let's turn off the coffee machine. Let's turn on the blender, and let's let's have a blend. Camera and memory card ran out of space, so um, here we have what we've just tried to blend there. Uh, obviously, not much of a smoothie today, just some grapes. Um, let's turn off the blender and let's just drink these grapes. Uh, some of the juice you can see at the bottom, uh, just right out the blender. Mmm, trunk just fell in my mouth. Lovely. So. That is how you operate the blender safely. Please give your comments down below on what you would like me to make on next week's Super Smoothie Show. Obviously nice and safely. Um, I've run out of suggestions, so I do need someone to comment below. Um, and I'll look forward to next week. Take care, bye.